Hi, I'm Andy. Hi there, I'm Oliver. Hey everyone, I'm Jameson. If you were able to go to our trade show booth live, you'd be able to see the following trade show demo. So there you saw a demonstration of the Pi Cobot with our Pi Soft Grip technology, but more on that later. Now we'll go into the features of the Pi Cobot. So, in that video you saw the features and technology of the Pi Cobot. Here we have it on a universal robot, but it is compatible with all Cobots. Um, it comes when you pick either the UR code or the FANUC code on our configurator with a software that will help you program your robot. So next we're going to take a look at PiEV's uh, soft grip, the Pi soft grip. It's a vacuum actuated gripper that uh, pairs nicely with our Pi Cobot as you see here. Currently we have uh, two sizes, this small one which is uh, handled about 20 millimeter wide objects and then the 50 millimeter wide objects. So now I'll show you a video of it in action.
Hi again. So here in our virtual trade show booth, we have the newest member of the Pi Software family, the 50-2. This allows you a little bit more precise handling than the three-finger gripper. Again, we have it paired with our Pi Cobot and adjustable gripper. Ready to handle all kinds of challenging applications. The KCS foam unit was one of the original units that was developed for co-robot applications. The real versatility uh, of this unit is the foam and how it can handle a variety of different packages and products. The KCS unit is configurable with your choice of cartridges and some options. The simple KCS shown here doesn't have any valves or sensing capability on the tool. The KCS is available with different foam thickness, pad size of either 110 millimeter square or 150 millimeter square, and it also has the option for a bag attachment. To remove and change the assembly, it's very easy. Slight twist, and the units come apart. And then they twist back together, and you can lock it by a set screw. You can also configure the KCS to be a little bit more complex, where it includes an onboard valve and an onboard sensor. If you were to configure this KCS, for instance, to uh, the UR robot, uh, it would come with the valve and with the sensor and the cable to attach right to the robot. There's also the ability to have custom made pads. So if you want to have a pad that's not a standard size, you want something that's larger or a different shape, we can quote that as well. And it's also available for custom 3D printed uh, attachments with suction cups uh, more tailored to your application. And as Andy had just mentioned, we do have the ability to also quote uh, custom tools, such as this CCG right here, or the custom corrugated gripper. Um, a number of features um, are available to custom tailor this unit to your application from the center to center spacing of the suction cups here. Um, you can see here also there are a number of other ports that aren't even being used right now, so we have the ability to add more cups. Um, we have the ability to add more cups than the four here. Um, you can do much larger tools. Um, a couple of other features that are cool about the CCG here are we have the ability to either have onboard coax cartridges and a blow off check valve here, um, or um, we can supply a unit that it has designed with ports for external vacuum generation. Um, we also have a monitoring port here, um, and um, a number of different cobot flanges are also available as well. Um, not just cobots, but um, any robot you may be using in your application, we can likely you know, come up with a, a flange for it. Thanks for your time, everybody. Thanks for coming to the booth. Enjoy the rest of the show. Thanks for coming, everybody.